everyone all checked in at Addington High Profile Show. Um, San Remo hit travel beautifully, which was great. Didn't even hear a peep out of him. Um, everyone's here, um, just exercising horses, settling them in their stables. That's all done, more or less, for me. I've just got the kettle on. I don't know if you can hear it um, in the background there. Um, and there's my doggies keeping me great company. I'm just going to have something to eat and I'm going to do some work actually. I've got some bits I've got to catch up on um, admin and stuff like that. It never stops running your own equestrian business. Um, okay, there's the lorry all parked up. Empty lorry park at the moment. Just really the first run is full. All the other temporary stables is another block over there behind the hedge. And that stable on the right is where San Remo is. And this is my home for the next couple of days. I'll just show you him in his stable. There he goes, it's very quiet in the barn at the moment. There he is. And that's how the barn is at the moment. Okay, so it's a bit difficult to see, but there are still loads of people arriving. You can probably just see a few lights and dots and stuff. All the massive lorries are arriving, like that one there. <laughs> that runs nearly full. It's filling up slowly. Just a little bit on San Remo Hit. Uh, like I told you earlier, he's a Sandro Hit um, Sunset Boulevard. Um, he's got Donna Hall's sort of second generation. So he is very nicely bred. Um, and he came to me by default. He was going to be destroyed. And I stepped in and... Um, Basically, I don't know why I said it, but I just said you've got a couple of options I said you can either leave the horse with me and I've no idea why I said that but I just did Or you have to take him away if you want to destroy him and destroy him somewhere else because that's what they wanted to do But I wouldn't allow them to do that on my yard. Um, I didn't agree with it, but I had no control of it so um, he left him with me and um, I put him in the field for a couple of months and that sort of let him chill chill out I was predominantly a show jumper and a, uh, an eventer so a um, bit crazy I prepared to ride things that a lot of people aren't and um, he was basically just very nappy rearing running backwards uh, throwing you up against the wall bolting um, attachment syndrome so if he if other horses left him in the arena he would just piss off after them so just cut a long story short, what I did, I just jumped on him and galloped him around the arena just for five minutes each time I rode him and that's it. And gradually he started to take me and he started to take the contact and I'd praise him when he went forward um, and I managed to get him softer and more supple and then I gradually started to ride him down the yard from the stables because this would all happen with me shut in the arena to just establish a rapport. Gradually started to trust me, realised that I was the boss and I could start to ride him a little bit more genuinely from the stable yard rather than just riding him in the arena with all the arenas shut. As he started to enjoy his work, he started to take me forward. Um, so I could get on him outside his stable and ride down the stable yard, which was, was a real feat because no one had ever been able to do that with him before. He would just run backwards and slam me up against the wall. Um, so I just built up his, his confidence from there as he'd started to take more contact in the snaffle. I started to put him in, in the double bridle and I think as soon as the horse is still to the rein and starts taking contact um, in the snaffle, starts to pull in the snaffle, you can ride it lightly in the double quite happily. Um, I was then I was able to get an awful lot more control of him of, of his body he was going forward and make him much more supple in the double so I would interchange now I can ride him in both quite similarly um, he's been to the nationals twice um, and done very well and he's been to about five or six Premier Leagues and high profiles so um, today and tomorrow, sorry, tomorrow and Saturday, so that's Friday and Saturday, he is doing mediums and advanced mediums. 
I'm really hoping that this horse will join my international horse eventually and go abroad. Um, he's probably got another year before I can compete him at PSG because to actually even just get on the international riders list you have to be getting scores of over 68, 69, 70% at PSG and into one. So I've got a bit of a way to go. So good morning, up bright and early um, to muck out and feed and walk bear. The dogs are even still in bed, look. Nelson is still up there in bed and Gemma is still down there in bed. It's black outside so um, I'm going to get on um, a bit chilly and it's a bit rainy. Um, I'm going to get on just walking bear, mucking out and then have breakfast. So I'll see you then. Hi, so just a quick one for you. Bear is all ready and I am just getting myself ready to go over and jump on and start warming up. I will report back um, as to how I get on. Um, so he's all smartened up, saddle and bridle on Charlotte's here. Charlotte Dujardin is here. She's competing too. Um, so it's wonderful. So I will report back later and let you know how everything's gone. I've just done medium 75 and advanced medium oh, 91, which I've never ever ridden before. Um, excuse the cat because I might have got that horrible hat hair. Um, the 75 was really good until after the first count to count a simple change and he dropped me um, and then got really cheeky and just dropped me and then took the bit and then took off. <laughs> Um, this is sort of, I suppose it's the remnants of what I was telling you earlier with um, the naughtiness that he had with his mis misbehaving and bolting off and running up against the wall and it's, the, it's just what's left of that, that occasional niggle. Um, I can cope with that. Um, I got him back and then the rest of the test was quite nice but it was expensive what he did, very expensive in the medium. And then the advanced medium is the 91 test that I've never even ridden before. Um, it's one of the newer tests. It's got lots of changes in it after extended canters, flying change. Um, it's got a uh, right left uh, change on the V, on the short diagonal, and then back again, back onto the other diagonal on both reins. We've got all the changes. Um, the last one after the extension on the right rein uh, was a little bit with a buck, but he did do the change. But the test was great, so I'm really hoping that he's going to get a good score. The extensions were fantastic, really up and flowing. Um, he was much freer, much more relaxed, so more confident in the ring, so I could really ride him. So I'm really pleased with that test. So fingers crossed, I'll let you know what score I've got. I'm yet to analyse my sheets, but I'm really pleased. Um, he ended up with just under 69% in the advanced medium and just over 66% in the medium, which is not good because he's normally on over 70 in those. But it was expensive what happened. So he's had a graze. I've just been outside watching the Grand Prix. Um, I'm now having a well-earned cup of tea in the lorry. Going to have something to eat. I've put Bear to bed. Um, he's had some, um, some grass outside. And I've cleaned all the tack ready for tomorrow. I'm probably going to start at about 7 tomorrow, not too early, because I'm not on until 11, 11 and 1 tomorrow. So today, in the medium, we finished 5th uh, or 6th, and in the advanced medium, we finished 4th, out of quite a big field. Um, so I was really chuffed, some really super riders here today.